Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, Mamsugus Gaming and we finally got the official confirmation for the Godzilla vs King Kong event called Operation Monarch alongside new weapons, new maps and also new changes to the Caldara map in Warzone. If you guys are excited for Operation Monarch, make sure to see for the like button for everything Call of Duty and also we are on the road to 1k subscribers, make sure to subscribe and let's reach that goal together. Without further ado, let's get right into it. When it comes to the release date, Season 3 will officially launch on April 27th, however there will be a Vanguard update on April 26th at 9 a.m. Pacific time and another update for Warzone on April 27th at 9 a.m. Pacific time for Operation Monarch or Godzilla vs King Kong event that will not be coming until two weeks later on May 11th also at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Let's move on and talk about multiplayer and to be honest with you guys season after season it is disappointment after disappointment after disappointment and guess what season 3 is no different because it is yet another disappointment. And what makes it worse is the fact that majority of players for Call of Duty are multiplayer players. These are the players that made Call of Duty where it is today and this is how we get treated. It is absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. Anyways, for multiplayer we will be getting two new maps. First of all, at launch will be Mayhem. It is very similar to Das House and other small maps, which is quite good for grinding camos. The description for the map Mayhem reads, this 1950s movie set is built for fast paced combat. Then we have our second and final map called Sphere and this one will be coming in season. So at the start of season 3 we will only be getting one new multiplayer map with sphere to follow in the mid season update and it says beneath the facade of a coal mine is a hidden weapons lab reaming with secrets. This small sized map features dual layers that use plenty of interior space to facilitate fast paced close quarter combat opportunities. Once again if you are still grand for camos like me I am still doing that these two maps will be absolutely great for grinding camos. Other than that I really can't tell you anything positive. Moving on from the maps we will be getting our three new operators from the task force harpy. First of all, we'll be getting Mateo Hernandez, which will be coming at launch. Following Mateo will be Florence Carter, which will be coming in season. And finally, for our third and fun operator, will be Kim Tae Young, which will be coming in the mid season update. Just like we've seen the previous two seasons, each new operator will also come with their favorite weapon. Now, let's move on to everybody's favorite part in Call of Duty, and that is the new weapons. In season three, we'll be getting four new weapons, two of which will be unlockable for free via the battle pass. Our first weapon will be the M1916 Marksman Rifle. And will be coming at launch. The description reads the following. A semi-automatic rifle with a combination of power and fire rate. Impressive at any range in the hand of a capable marksman. Okay, that sounds quite interesting. Cannot wait to try it out in game. And of course, this will be our first new marksman rifle since the launch of Vanguard. Our second new weapon is going to be the Nikita AVT assault rifle and will also be coming at launch. The description reads accurate and reliable with best in class fire rate. This AR can be outfitted to exceed in CQC or long range combat scenarios. The Nikita AVT is the fastest firing assault rifle in Vanguard to date, uh oh, making it great choice for SMG users who want to transition to a more mid range option. Okay, this weapon so far sounds like it's going to be OP, kind of wait to try this one as well. Our third of the four new weapons in season 3 will be the Sledgehammer Mail and it will be coming in season and when I said Sledgehammer I don't mean Sledgehammer games I mean the melee weapon <laughs> okay I'm sorry that wasn't funny at all but it was right there I had to say it the description says the pride and joy of a certain game development studio of course Sledgehammer games the junkyard jet Sledgehammer is a force to be reckoned with hand to hand combat situations the previous two weapons will be the free obtainable weapons via the battle pass however for the Sledgehammer you can unlock it via an in game challenge or of course in the store bundle and finally for our fourth and fun weapon is gonna be the H4 Blixen SMG which will be coming in the mid season update. Now unfortunately there is no image for this weapon I don't know why. The description reads little is known of this blowback SMG except that it seems to use a 9x19mm cartridge and shares some design techniques with the Sten and the PPSH41. But because classified arms were only recently discovered expect intel on this new weapon closer to when it drops during the mid season update. Again this weapon will be unlockable via in game challenge or a store bundle. But the interesting thing is the fact that they are keeping this weapon secret. Why is that? There is no image for the weapon. Weapon. There's also not much of a description for it as well. I'm really not sure why they keeping this weapon a secret. Maybe it's a futuristic weapon that will be linked to the Operation Monarch or the Godzilla vs King Kong event. At this point in time, this is all we know about it. Finally, for multiplayer in season three, we'll be getting a new equipment, and that is the trophy system. The trophy system is something that a lot of the COD players were asking for. However, Sledgehammer Games were like, "Well, no, that's historically inaccurate. We cannot add a trophy system to a World War II game." But then they only went and added a Titan from Attack on Titan. Then they also added anime bundles, and now they 
will be Aaron Godzilla and King Kong and let's be honest that's not exactly historically accurate with World War 2 game so they were left with no choice but to add it and in season 3 it will finally be coming to Call of Duty Vanguard and do not get me wrong I'm not against this okay Vanguard is already dead who cares about historically accurate anymore just add whatever you want to add add futuristic weapons add futuristic operators robots Godzilla King Kong whatever trophy system whatever comes to Sledgehammer's imaginations I want them to add it forget historically inaccurate just try and make this game fun for whatever life cycle it is remaining and this was the problem from the beginning with the World War 2 game you are very limited with what you can do but hopefully they just move on from that and they add some weird and fun stuff so they can actually make Vanguard fun again but I guess only time will tell what do you guys think about this do you want them to keep it historically accurate or do you want them to just move on and do some crazy things when it comes to Vanguard that would do it now let's move on to Warzone and of course the main focus of season 3 in Warzone is going to be Operation Monarch or the Godzilla vs King Kong event that will be beginning on May 11th like we already said first of all we'll be getting a new point of interest in Caldera and this one is the dick side now if you guys watched my previous video where we talked about the latest teaser for the Godzilla vs King Kong event you know we talked about the dick side it also was shown on that teaser video and here is it will be a new point of interest in Caldera stand from season 3 the description says a storm is coming to the sunny paradise of Caldera so that also means a new weather change of course so far Caldera has only been sunny now it's gonna be cloudy and stormy which should make it interesting it continues by saying unearthing giant skulls rib cages and remains of serpentine creatures that some say came from the hollow earth located between the mines and the ruins dig site provides operators the opportunity to rummage through abandoned excavation equipment tents and massive skeletons for supply boxes and other items so basically the dig site is going to be a very very good place to land on from the beginning of the game because there'll be a lot of loot and action there which should make for some awesome awesome moments alongside that runaway peak and lagoon will be updated now i know a lot of people are actually happy about peak being updated and you can see on screen right now the current peak is an absolute nightmare but thankfully that has been changed with season 3 first of all for peak all buildings atop the peak are fully built up with fresh coat of paint revealing the symbol of the mysterious global organization known as monarch of course that is linking up with the whole godzilla event new exterior and interior ascenders to quickly travel between old and new floors of this area or drop down to the court to see more of the upgrades made to the otherwise natural structure the runaway has also been rebuilt with a set of barracks hangars and other structural additions replacing jungle overgrowth and abandoned lodging in this area and finally for the lagoon it says expanding of the knee high water route this sandbar has multiple more chips to explore or use as cover in addition to a steep rock faced cliff behind few houses there are several sloping paths back up to the main island and to what already existed in this area alongside that the gulags have been once again updated this time to a new location called the hold and it is based in the belly of a ship more just off the coast of Kaldar. and finally for warzone they see underground rumblings mid-season intel operation monarch is likely to have a great impact on Kaldara, but something else seems to be shaking and booming underneath the island expect more intel on the secrets below Kaldara's surface later on in the season now this could be two things either it's the godzilla vs king kong event or they are mentioning something else and in my opinion maybe it is the volcano erupting if you guys remember when they were revealing Caldara, I said the second I saw the volcano, I said this volcano is erupting, no two ways about it. Now that's what I believe, but maybe it's not the volcano, maybe it's something completely new. Whatever the secret is, I don't believe it's gonna be the Godzilla vs Skin Con because as we know, that's not coming in the mid-season update. That's coming two weeks after season three launch. But these secrets, they're talking about the mid-season update. So it is something other than Operation Monarch. It could be the volcano erupting, like I said, or it could be something completely new. That would do it for Warzone. Now let's talk about zombies, and like I said, they've pretty much given up on zombies for season 3 however starting with season 4 that's when zombies will start to get better with the classic run based experience but for season 3 in zombies you pretty much get nothing other than the new weapons and the operators now you can also unlock the KGM4 and the Whitley weapons in zombies via a challenge and that's pretty much it for zombies nothing new nothing else what I just mentioned is everything zombies is getting and that's quite sad but however let's hope they make up for it in season 4 of course with Shino Numa coming as the new classic run based zombies experience and plenty more updates let's Let's hope it turns vanguard zombies around but with all that being said if you guys are excited for season 3 make sure to see for the like button 15 call of duty make sure to subscribe turn on notification bell and join notification squad and i'll catch you guys later